Good morning to you all. Welcome to Rhapsody of Realities. Today is Friday 2nd of February 2024. And once more, I will say Happy New Month to you all. Praise the Lord. Today, the topic is an excellent life. So, before we start this beautiful morning, let's say prayer together. Father, we bless you, we honor you, we thank you for who you are, we appreciate you for your loving kindness, we thank you for your faithfulness, we thank you for your mercy that prevailed over judgment. Thank you for this gathering this morning and thank you for making it possible. Thank you for your word we are about to receive this morning. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is good to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is good to praise the Lord, hallelujah. It is good to praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This song is just in my spirit, hallelujah. So I just said, I have to sing it because God is about praise, hallelujah. An excellent life is our topic today, and Colossians 1 10 confirms it. That ye may walk worthy of the Lord, unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work, praise the Lord, and increasing in the knowledge of God. Hallelujah. There is so much to learn from this prayer of the Spirit through the Apostle Paul. It gives you an idea of a true and balanced Christian life. An excellent life praise the Lord it says that you might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing praise the Lord be fruitful in every good work and increase in knowledge of God hallelujah that is an extraordinary it reveals God's will for you as a Christian he wants your daily life to be worthy of him walking in his righteousness and pleasing him in all things jesus always pleased the father he said in john 8 29 and he that sent me is with me the father have not left me alone for i do always those things that please him praise the lord it should be your life works to always and only do those things that please the father along with this he says being fruitful in every good work praise the lord Hallelujah. Think about the kind of life where you are fruitful in every good work. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is what we have in Christ Jesus, an excellent life. Praise the Lord. It reminds of the words of the psalmist in Psalm 1 3. It shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters that bringeth forth his fruit in the seas in glory to God. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Praise the Lord. That is not all. As you are walking worthy of the Lord, pleasing him in all things, and fruitful in every good work, he also wants you to increase in the knowledge of God. There are people who, even though they are doing well in their work, aren't increasing in the knowledge of God. No, He wants your life to be balanced, praise the Lord. Don't let it be that your job or business distracts you from giving time to prayer, studying the scriptures, and growing in the things of God. A true and balanced Christian life is working in righteousness, pleasing the Lord in all things, being fruitful in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. What a wonderful topic. An excellent life. I think this first of uh, this February, it has been all that God has given to us. He said, God has given you an excellent life. What can be more than that? Praise to Lord, hallelujah. And that this is the promise of God. This is, he, he has, we have an excellent life. Praise the Lord. And that is why the Christian is really different. We are always excited because we know who we are in Christ Jesus. We know what we have in Christ Jesus. Now, pastor is helping us. It's just reminding us that God has given you an excellent life. So that excellent life is what you shall live. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Anything short of that, now you begin to 
begin to claim your inheritance in Christ Jesus. Use your ATM card. Cash out. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Most of us are not cashing out of the promises of God, the blessings of God in our lives. We are not cashing out. And we are still suffering. We are still in pain. We are still in, in Satan domain because we don't know. We are like a king and living like a slave. Praise the Lord. That is not how God wants you. You need to know who you are in Christ Jesus. How do you know that? It's by studying the Bible. Get to know your inheritance and begin to live as a king and queen that you are. So with that being said, let's take the prayer and confessions together. Dear Father, I thank you for the, giving me an excellent and balanced life. By your spirit, I live and conduct myself in manner worthy of you, fully pleasing you in all things, bearing fruit of righteousness, and steadily growing and increasing in and by the knowledge of your word. In Jesus' name, amen. For that study, you can look at Hebrew in verse 22 21, Psalm 1, verse 1 to 3. When your Bible read the plan, you can look at Matthew 23 and Exodus 24 to 25. To your Bible read the plan, you can look at Acts 14, verse 19 to 28, and Job 36 to 37. So at your leisure time, you can go through the scriptures, and you'll be indeed blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for tuning in this morning. I trust you have been blessed by today's devotional, and I want to use this opportunity for you. Yeah, you've not given your life to Christ. This is an opportunity for you to do so. All you have to do is repeat the prayer of salvation with me this morning. Oh Lord God, I believe it all my heart in Jesus Christ. So not deliver.